Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As we will see there, it's been a real roller coaster for the last couple of sessions. You can even see the UK, the US 30 right there, sold off really strongly yesterday and bounced all the way right back up again uh, to start the day quite close to, to where it closed. So um, as you can see there, we are looking like we're going to rechallenge potential resistance again at 16,598. I should point out that the uh, trading obviously yesterday was quite thin as uh, most markets were actually still on holiday and over in Asia many markets still are still over uh, still on holiday uh, looking at the UK 100 we can see there uh, again a kind of a uh, uh, doji formation there on the Friday because we weren't open on the Monday uh, we've kind of opened ever so slightly at this level right here uh, we're at 6824 slap bang in the middle of two ranges we're kind of floating right there just now potential resistance remains at 67 uh, sorry 6874 potential support at 67.74 um, so we'll have to see how things progress later on today Barclays came out the results slightly better than expected so we'll see how they perform throughout the rest of the day Japan 225 grinding towards that strategic level at 14219 it's been in play for uh, a couple of months now and it's still still in play right now looks to be a lot of pressure on this in the short term and if we have a look at dollar yen um, it's pretty flat right now as well um, ever so slightly selling off indicating more yen buying I can see from the other FX pairs that the dollar has lost ground against some other um, FX pairs as well. Um, the level here to watch is 101 spot 80. So if we jump on to our old favorite crude oil, uh, I can see that crude oil uh, again had a bit of a sell off there on the um, on Monday, um, floating between these two ranges again. I don't really like it when it's not coming close to major support resistance level. Uh, so it's not really giving us any clear direction. This is obviously selling off just now uh, in the last couple of um, last couple of sessions, um, but we might be making a little bit of a, a kind of a support level for ourselves here, around about ninety nine dollars. But we're a little bit away from that right now. So looking at gold, uh, gold actually shot up there um, on Friday and on Monday. Um, possibly, you know, people will be talking about Ukraine and gold a lot, but. Um, this has been an uncharacteristic jump right here and we are approaching um, the 55 period SMA which now might be acting as potential resistance um, so that's the level to have a look at there support remains potential support remains at 1295 potential resistance remains at 1332 moving swiftly on to euro dollar euro dollar has been flat the last couple of days just grinding ever so slightly higher um, we're getting a very volatile session there on Friday kind of similar to how the Dow reacted um, Obviously, you had non-farm payrolls where things sold off. Um, they shut up, then sold off, and then uh, jumped back up again. Uh, and as you can see there, we are now trading above potential um, resistance at 138.63. And if we finish up with cable, uh, cable had a, uh, another another move to the upside there, um, a little bit away from the previous high that it made there on the 1st of May, uh, which is above 69. Uh, things still looking relatively bullish, but the potential support uh, is at 168. And there is some economic data due out today which could make the difference. You've got Eurozone PMI at 9 UK time, and then you've got UK PMI due at 9.30. Then you've got US trade balance at 1.30. So there is a, a fair amount of economic data due out today. Fast forward on to Wednesday, you can see it's predominantly, well, the only thing that's uh, actually uh, picked up here is the crude oil inventories. So it's crude oil Wednesday, uh, which will be, uh, you know, they're still looking at record uh, distiller. Uh, we're still looking at record supply over in the US and um, you know a lot of people will still be looking to see if that $99 level will remain unbroken. Keep your eye on the chart forum uh, for updates from CMC clients and also our analysts. I can see there's a number of updates here from uh, one of our clients just now and keep your eye on insights uh, to get the inside track from our global analyst team as it happens.